Welcome to a special edition of Level Kids Expression. Level Kids Expression is a program where kids in the Level Nation use their God-given talents to point viewers to Jesus and keep them prepared to meet God. My name is Ivanka and I'll be your host for today. I would like to thank our life coach, our teacher, our mentor, and the prophet of our time, Reverend Chris. Thank you, sir, for creating so many platforms for us to express ourselves while winning souls. Today's episode will feature Kitty's Rappy Dailies, Fun Kids Craft, and much more. Like our man of God will say, if you stick to the world, you'll come back with a testimony. Let's look at today's Rhapsody Dailies. Watch and be blessed. Hello and welcome to Kitty's Rapsy Dailies, your favorite devotional program. My name is Zoe and I'm still with me today I have... My name is Christian and today we are very excited to be here once again as we study the scriptures to become wiser in the word. Today is a glorious day and we are reaching you from Toronto, Canada. Wow Christian, can you imagine what the Lord is doing all around the world through the message angel? God is doing marvelous things and we are using this book to reach the ends of our ends of the world. This is truly the messenger angel. Yes, Zoe, it certainly is. And did you know that the Kitty's Rhapsody Dailies is available in over 50 plus languages and still counting? We thank our dear man of God, Pastor Chris, for creating such a book like this that will bless the entire world and reach the entire world. We love you very dearly, Pastor Sir. Zoe, do you have anything to say to Pastor Sir? We love you so dearly, Pastor Sir, and indeed, the world has not seen anything yet. That said, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Who is God? Who is Jesus? Why did he come and why did he die? Why do I exist? Does God have a plan for me? The answers to these questions and so much more that children will get as they journey through the pages of the life-transforming Rourke Illustrated Bible Stories, a new release for the children from the Love World Publishing Ministry. Each page of this Bible will take the children through the action, drama, and miracles of Bible days as they relive each Bible story experience told with vividly illustrated pictures. The Rourke Illustrated Bible comes with fantastic features to help engage the children, some of which are short, easy-to-read commentaries that throw more light on each Bible story, exciting teaser prologues which pull out the children's curiosities and prepare them for a journey into the life-transforming stories, a lesson for you that helps the children apply the lesson in each story, memory verses for them to meditate on and confess, which further strengthens the lesson of the story. Over 50 Bible fun activities, as well as facts about the Bible, and so much more. The Rourke Illustrated Bible. Wow, it's definitely the big picture Bible for every child. Call these numbers below to place your orders now, or visit www.loveworldbooks.org for more details on For the Children. Welcome back to Kitty's Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite devotional program. Today's message is titled, Full of His Love. The opening scripture is taken from Romans 5 verse 5, NLT. It says, For we know how dearly God loves us, because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. Pastor Chris goes on to say, As God's dear children, as God's dear child, your heart is full of love. Romans 5 verse 5. This means there should be no room for ill feelings towards anyone because you're an excellent child. As we celebrate this season of love and giving, let God's love in you be seen and felt by those around you. Be that child who's kind, thoughtful, and helpful. When you live this way, others will be drawn to you and they will want to emulate your excellent character of love. Wow, that was a powerful rhapsody. That said, stay tuned and we'll be right back to discuss today's message. Have you ever imagined a fun and exciting way for your kids to learn God's word in its simplicity? Or how they could daily be edified with inspiring family and Christian TV content? Meet the Bible Wiz app. Yay! It's 
a fun, engaging, interactive and educational app specially designed to help your kids learn the Word of God in its simplicity. With lots of educational guide quiz questions and exciting TV contents, your kids are sure going to have an amazing time with the Word of God and begin a lifetime love of God's Word, the Bible Wiz app. Download it now for free. Welcome back to Kiddies.C Dailies, your favorite devotional program. Today's message is titled, Full of His Love. Christy, in the afternoon today's message, can you tell us what you learned? Thank you for asking, Zoe. What I learned is that because we are full of God's love, we should always give, not only in the month of December, but in all of the months of the year. We shouldn't be focused, more focused on getting your gifts on Christmas. You may even want to give the gifts that you receive on Christmas to the people who don't even have what you already have, which is why it's important that we allow the love of God to propel us to give to the homeless. And on Christmas, we should be giving to the homeless and not only celebrating of what we got, we should, always, we should also give, just like Jesus gave his life to us. He gave his life so we can, do, so we can give salvation to others and so we can also be saved. So we should give salvation to others and we can give them of what they need. For example, money, food, shelter, or anything that they desire because you may have that stuff, but they don't. There are some people in the world who don't even have anything. They don't have a parent. They don't have, they don't have a mother or a father or any siblings. They're by themselves. For Christmas, you can, you can give instead of give. So that's what I learned. Zoe, what did you learn? Thank you for asking, Christian. What I learned is that, like you said, we should give to the homeless people because them, they might not have nothing. And it doesn't mean that you're not allowed to get stuff. You, Yes, you're allowed to get stuff, but you shouldn't be selfish. There's a difference in between getting stuff and being selfish. Being selfish is when you're caring for yourself, but we shouldn't be like that because like the Rhapsody said, we are children of God and that means we are excellent. And, and like Jesus, Jesus was always full of love um, and since we are the Jesus in the world in our world it means that we have to imitate G the actions of Jesus so that we do the same things that he's done because he is full of love and an example from the Bible is is Paul Paul was always full of love he was full of love for the people that he met he went all around preaching the gospel and he sacrificed his life for the word of God. And another example is Stephen. Stephen was full of God, love because he forgave. Forgiving is another way to show love to others. <clears throat> because um, the story of Stephen is amazing. He was a man of God. He loved the word of God. He spread it wherever he went. And then after, people thought that he wasn't a Christian. People thought that what he was spreading wasn't the word of God. So they stoned him to death. But what he said is that to forgive them. So Stephen loved others. So overall, what I have to add on is that we should always have a heart full of love and we should imitate the actions of Jesus because we are the Jesus in our world. That's what I learned. Do you have anything to add on, Christian? Thank you for asking, Zoe. What I have to add on is an example from the Bible. When there was a multitude of 5,000, Jesus gave thanks to God and his, the food of three fish and five bread multiplied, which, so he got even more. And while, they were, while the people were following Jesus, they were hungry and he didn't just want to send them home hungry because one of them could have fainted while they were walking home. So Jesus, instead, Jesus was, gave thanks to God and the bread and fish multiplied. So he gave to them because of them listening to him and because that they are Christians as well. So that's what I have to add on. Zoe, what do you have to add on? Thank you for asking, Christian. What I have to add on is that, yes, like you said, Jesus was full of love. He gave to the multitude. He was compassionate for everyone. So whenever Jesus walked by someone who was poor or someone in need of help, this is the love of Jesus because if Jesus wasn't compassionate, he would have just walked by those people doing nothing, not, 
doing nothing about them. He would have let those um, those people who were with him just go home and starve. And they could have think like Christian said. So that's the love of Jesus, the love of God, because Jesus, he is very compassionate. And whenever he went past someone in need of help, he didn't just pass by that person like they were not even there. Jesus always did something to help. If it was someone in need of a healing, he healed them. So um, it's important that we imitate the actions of Jesus because Jesus is full of God love and as a child of god we are supposed to be the jesus in our world which means we're supposed to imitate his actions which are the actions of love um which are the actions of love so another way to say this is that like in life we have dispensers of sanitizers dispensers of paper dispensers of toilet paper dispensers of soap you yourself as a christian you are a dispenser a dispenser of what a dispenser of love you dispense love wherever you go when, because um, this is how people should know you. When people should know you as the love giver. They should know you as, they should know you and they want to be like you. They want to imitate your actions because they know that, wow, this person is amazing. They don't know, they might not know what has happened to you, but they, because of your excellent character, because you imitate the actions of Jesus, they want to be just like you. So overall, what I have to add on is that it's important that we imitate the actions of Jesus because we are dispensers of love. And wherever we go, when we step into a place, when we leave that place, we leave something there. We leave love there. So overall, what I have to add on is that we are dispensers of love and we dispense love wherever we go. And we are the Jesus in our world. That's what I have to add on. Wow, that was, those are powerful words, Zoe. Stay tuned and we'll be right back to take the affirmations. Welcome back to Kitty's Ratsi Dailies, your favorite devotional program. Now we'll be taking the affirmations. Kindly repeat after me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For filling my heart. For filling my heart. With your love. With your love. To the overflowing. To the overflowing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now we'll take our further study scripture. Our further study scripture is taken from 1 John 4. Verse 7 to 8, it says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth know, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Praise the Lord. I know you learned something today because I have. I learned that we are the Jesus in our world, which means we dispense the love and we imitate his actions. However, not every child has the opportunity to hear and learn what you did today. That's why we invite you to be an answer and sponsor to their prayers by sponsoring Kitty's Rhapsody. For more information on how to sponsor, kindly contact us with, with information displayed on your screen. Wow, what a privilege to hear God's word every single day and be blessed by it. And it's a powerful message every day, which is why we should always read it so our minds can be renewed day by day. That said, you're watching Kitties at Sea Dailies. And until next time, we, we love, love you. you. Bye. Bye. Welcome back to Love What Kids is Special. Wow, wow, wow. I trust you have were blessed by those powerful word ministrations from our Rhapsody of Realities for early readers. A big thanks goes to the esteemed Pastor Yamisi and all those working with her to ensure kids around the world have rap kids' Rhapsody in their own languages. Let's move right on to the next thing on our list, Kids Fun Craft. My name is Pearl. 
and welcome to an exciting episode of Kids Craft. I'm so excited to be with you today. Guess what we'll be making? Da da da! A bracelet. For this bracelet, we're going to be making it as a gift for a friend. When you're giving gifts to your friend for their birthday or for any other reason, make sure that you add some ministry materials like your kitty's wrap sleeve, your let's pray, and the activity sheet. Or you can add any other ministry materials. And we'll be putting all of this into a gift bag. And also, as you can see, I have some two bracelets for display. I really like this one because it has love, a bow, and some pretty charms right here. So now I'll be wearing it and showing you how it looks. So this is it. I think it's really cute and I just personally like it. You may be wondering, how do we assemble all of these parts together to make the bracelet and the necklace? I'll be showing you right now. Are you wondering what's in this box? Let's see. Ta-da! Now I'll be telling you what you will need. So, you will need some charms, some beads, and some strings for the necklace and the bracelet. Okay. So I'm making a necklace and a bracelet, so I'm just going to take it out of this bag. I'm going to choose the color purple for my necklace. And I'm going to choose this silver bracelet for the bracelet. And it comes with this part so that you can put it at the end to like screw it up so the beads don't come out. Now I'm going to start with the necklace. I'm going to choose the beads I'm going to use and I think I'm going to use the, the blue, white, and red ones because they look very pretty. Now I'm going to choose some charms to put. I really like this one because it says she believed and she could sew. She did it. So I'm going to take it out right now of this bag. It's really hard because it's really small. Okay, got it out. I'm going to take out this palm tree. As you can see, I'm choosing the charms I'm going to take out first because you want to choose the charms first so you know what you're going to put on your necklace. So there we go. To make it look full, you want to add some more charms. So there's some cute flowers and butterflies. So let's add it to where we're going to put. I think that's enough charms right now. So we're going to pass on to putting it on our necklace. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this charm. going to put it in by here. So I'm going to add a flower right now and try to kind of like make a pattern. I like patterns because you know what you're going to do. And now I'm going to add, actually I'm going to add a flower.
And there we have our necklace. I'm just going to put it together so that it doesn't come off. Isn't this beautiful? It has the charm that says she believed she could so she did it. Has this palm tree, this rainbow, and some beautiful butterflies and flowers and beets. So now we're going to pass on to our bracelet. Like we did for this one, we're going to choose some beads that we will want to use. Now, let's look for some charms that we can put. Now, some charms. I'm gonna pick castle. Okay, so now we have everything set and we can start putting it on our bracelet. First, I'm gonna add this bead. Okay. So now we're done and it's looking very beautiful. To secure, you're going to screw this part to this edge. You're going to simply put it on and turn it. There we go. It's very beautiful because we have our planet, the castle, and a key, and a beautiful rose, and some beautiful colors. We're done making the bracelets. Now it's time to assemble our gift for our special friend. I'm going to start with the necklace and bracelet. I'm going to be packaging them in two Ziploc bags so it looks presentable. You can put it in any Ziploc bag of your choice or in a little box. I'm going to start putting it in the bracelet in this bag. And now I'm going to do the same for the necklace. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to take our gift bag. Now I'm going to be putting our ministry materials into our bag. I'm going to put it nicely. Now let's add the bracelets. And necklace. <laughs> so there you go. Now you have your gift for your special friend. I hope you enjoyed making this bracelet with me. Join us again on Kids Craft for another exciting time. Remember, we're always making something new. I love you. Bye. Wow. That was very interesting and beautiful crafts. You're watching Love World Kids Expression. It's amazing the things we can do. We have a salmon and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I'll definitely try making those too. Our man of God said, keep saying it and don't stop talking it. It's affirmation time on Love World Kids Expression. Let's fill our clouds as we speak God's word. Be blessed. Welcome to Affirmation Time with Love World Kids. Glory to God, what an amazing time it has been. You know, God has gave us the gift of our tongue so that we can speak words forth of affirmation, declaration, and excellence so that changes will change in our lives. 
That's why it's important that we use this gift that God has given us in our lives, so we can speak it forth. Some people at school they think that they're not smart enough, or sometimes they have difficulties in their exams. But we can change this with our tongue by speaking words. We should speak it boldly and happily. Speak it out loud, and it will come to pass in your lives. We want to see changes, so please repeat after me. I'm smart. I have a sound mind. I am lovely. I am beautiful. I'm God's number one. I'm the best. I'm top class. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The wisdom of God is at work in me. I'm a success. I'm perfect. I am perfection. I'm a good example for others to follow. Greater is He that lives in me than He that's in the world. I'm smart. I'm anointed for His excellence. I'm number one. Glory to God! You just spoke words of affirmation in your life, and they're starting to change by the Spirit of God. And I know you'll keep speaking these words of affirmation, and things will start changing in your life. Until next time, I love you. Bye. Welcome back. I trust you've been blessed. Thank you for participating in this edition of Level Kids Expression. We would like to hear from you or your kids. Let's bless the world with our God-given talents. To feature on Level Kids Expression, kindly contact us with information displayed on your screen. See you next time on Level Kids Expression. Keep leaving the glorious life. God bless you.